In this episode, we will explore some of Blazorplate's features that enable system users to request a resend of the email confirmation, reset their passwords, back up their account data, and permanently delete their accounts. I'm going to use Donald Foster's account to examine these features. It's the same account that I created in the first episode. Now, I'm going to show you how to resend the email confirmation link in case you couldn't find it in your email inbox for some reason. First of all, I'm going to deactivate Donald Foster's account using SQL Server Management Studio by changing the email confirmed field value from true to false. Now, I'm going to try to log into the system using Donald Foster's credentials to see the effect of the update command that I've just executed. Notice that the system responds with a message indicating that the user's email is not confirmed yet. So when I click on the resend email confirmation link, the system will prompt me to provide the account email I want to confirm. After clicking on resend button, I should receive the account confirmation link in my email inbox so I can use it to prove that the email linked to my account is an actual email. Instead, the system transferred me to an email confirmation page that includes a confirmation link as we don't have a real email sender service set up at this moment. I'm going to click on the confirmation link to confirm my new account. The system will verify that the account confirmation token is valid, and then it will respond with a message that my account has been successfully verified. Now I can use a confirmed email to log into the system as Donald Foster using a valid password. Now I'm going to log out and log back into the same account using an invalid password. The system should respond with a message indicating that the password I entered is invalid. We can usually assume that legitimate users might mistype their password once or twice, but not numerous times. Therefore, multiple failed login attempts can indicate that someone is trying a brute force password attack. In the following episodes, I will show you how to use the built-in security settings in Blazorplate to enable the system to detect suspicious login activities. Now suppose I forgot my password, and I want to reset it. I can click on this link to reset my password. The system should prompt me to enter the email address with which I've signed up. When I click on the Verify button, the system responds with a message indicating that a password reset link has been sent to my email and also transfers me to this page that indicates that I should check my email inbox. As we don't have a real email sender service set up at the moment, I will click on this link which is the same link that I should receive in my email inbox. Now I can enter a new password for my account. If the new password meets the system password policy, the system should transfer me to the confirmation page containing a link to the login page. I'm going to log into the system to show you how to delete your account and how to take a backup of your account before deleting it permanently. From the account settings, go to the personal data tab, then click on the download button to download your account data in JSON format. Downloading account data becomes a valuable feature when a user wants to delete their account permanently, and at the same time, they want to keep a copy of their account data for some reason. Now suppose you don't need to use this account anymore, you can delete it forever by clicking the delete my account button. The system will prompt you to type your account password for security reasons. After deleting your account, the system will automatically log you out and respond with a message indicating that your account has been deleted successfully and you can no longer use it. Thank you for watching.